And we are looking ahead to a new travel option. Dayton International Airport is offering a new direct flight to Texas. And our officials hoping this will open new doors for travelers heading either to the West Coast or even Latin America. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart looking ahead to this new route to Texas. Airport officials calling this an exciting accomplishment for them because international travel is growing and this Houston stop will provide an easier access point to Latin America, but there are many other ways that this point will provide convenience for Dayton passengers. Small and non-hub airports across the board have lost flights, with most developments going to medium or larger hub airports, says Terry Slayball, director of aviation at Dayton International Airport. We lost a carrier a couple of years ago, which accounted for about 25 percent of our traffic. Their growth coming from mainline carriers like United Airlines, which just announced a new direct flight to Houston, making this Dayton's 17th nonstop destination, which Slayball calls an accomplishment for any airport, regardless of size. When I fly, I would much prefer to come and fly out of Dayton, since I live here, instead of driving to Columbus or Cincinnati. So the more direct flights, the better. A number of major factors went into the decision of this new route, like Dayton's heavy aerospace influence, business market, and nearby Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. With uh, Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas, we're seeing a lot of connectivity through Houston to San Antonio. In just 90 days, they've already sold 70% of tickets for the service, and United is already planning to use a larger plane for the flights in July, which Slayball says are just two signs of promising future flights. I think that um, in a very short time, we'll be talking to United about putting a second flight on. Instead of just once a day, we'll go down to Houston twice a day. The first flight leaves tomorrow at 7.08 a.m. and will land at Houston's George Bush International Airport at 8.46 a.m. And then every week after, there will be seven flights connecting the two cities. Reporting live at the Dayton International Airport, Devereaux Bogart, 2 News, working for you.